Facebook. That's, I hit the wrong button there. So I, 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 don't, under, I don't understand. I thing. don't understand the internet at all. Clearly, we are not cut out for this. I, I, where's Jared? Where's Jerry, the tech guy? He's uh, supposed to be the tech guy. Hey, where's Jerry? Jerry? Hey, hey, sorry, I'm here. Jerry, what, what, what the frig is going on over here? Yeah. The, the YouTube doesn't work. Oh, they, they didn't receive our, our, our chickens. The, chi chickens. The, the, the chickens we sent? What is he talking about? Jerry, what, what is he talking about? You, what you, we, don't, we don't pay oh, in chickens, we pay in Dogecoin. Oh, jeez. We, we, um, uh, you gotta stop coming to work drunk, Jerry. Oh, okay. Jerry. Okay, this sure. Is, you're really freaked up, Jerry. Sorry. You're really, you I'm screwed the pooch on that one. I'm sorry, okay. Uh, you, should, you, should. you guys are... You're damn right. Um, you guys are alive right now. Um, what? You guys are alive. Are you... No Right now, yeah. Well, we're not even live on the Instagram. We haven't even gotten the login. Well, uh, the pa it keeps telling me to, uh, to put my password in. Uh, it works on my phone every time. I don't know why he uh, gave me a different phone. What, Maybe what? that's why. Technology's ridiculous. Uh, well, I, where's the last place you left it? Your password. Do you know where you left it last? I hate everything about what you're doing right now. Oh, okay. Uh, this is this is very difficult for thank, me. Thanks for having... Uh, thank you for... Why does he keep talking? And that voice. We paid him. He's not. He's not figured out a thing. Oh. I can't get into the. Sorry. Into I'll... the Instagram. Goodbye. Bye. No, Jerry. you're not going anywhere, Jerry. We need you. You're to working start... all night. We need you to start the stream. When are okay. we? Have to... we're, we're late. Now. Oh God. I know. The stream is going to be late now. We're not even. We're not even ready to go. Oh, this might be it. Oh. Incorrect password. It does it on my phone every time. I swear. I told you it did. And let's just tell people we planned this. Part. Huh? Yeah, it's good call. You know what? All right, Jared, get ready to run run the stream. Yeah, we're just um, you know got, okay. we're gonna do it live like O'Reilly did. You remember him? I, no. I hate that guy so much. No, I, I wish he was dead. All right, let's let's get into it. Let's, let's okay. Get the format. Let's uh, make sure. Hello. Jared, Jared, give me give me just a thirty second countdown when you're ready to hit the button, oh. and we will we'll oh. launch this thing like uh, like NASA. Yeah. I, like I, I, I press the button. Oh, okay. Uh, Thirty. 20, 29. That's too long of a counting. Tw Are you kidding me? I got it. I sent the log. But Jerry, Jerry, you should have known that's too long. You're uh, a professional. Wait, uh, uh, Neil, Neil wants to know, could I order a large, medium Bepis? Is the stream going right now? Yeah. Is the It's been going for the what? last thing. Shut, shut your goddamn mouth. Yeah, okay. Hello everyone! Welcome to the live stream Q&A, Ask When Anything. I am Chip Studebaker. And I'm Jib the Big Rib Banderson. And we are your Pleasure Cruise hosts. Mm. As we dive into the ocean, that is the Wrestling Entertainment Network. We know that there has been a lot of titillating Sizzlers, uh, uh, content, whatever you want to call it. There's lots of things coming your way that's piqued your interest about what's going on here and when. And Jim, tonight we're going to answer those questions. Now is the time! I've been waiting for this. This is the Fruited Plains, baby! And I'm so excited! I've been eating my Dunkaroos and swimming in the seas of nostalgia just waiting for tonight! That's right. We're going to tread right through that water. We're going to tell you some things that you have been wondering for quite a while. Let's stop dancing around the sauerkraut. Let's get to the stop. meat and potatoes of the matter. The Wrestling Entertainment Network. Got a lot of notes here. Got to be prepared, Jim. That's right. We're professionals. There's so Absolutely. much to go through and so little time. Actually, I feel like we have all the time we want. Time is my cousin. You know what that means? I, I Relative, my brother. We are going to bring to you, we are going to narrate the Wrestling Entertainment Network. What is when? Well, it's the premier action figure wrestling organization. And I know what comes to mind, what sort of imagery that conjures when I say it out loud. It sounds absolutely ridiculous. You're damn right. That's what the world needs. That's what the world needs. The world needs a little bit of absurdity every now and again because reality, quite frankly, Jib, it's a real son of a bitch. It absolutely is. I think this is what the people have been waiting for. I think this is what has been on the tip of everybody's tongue, but you didn't know it. And now, 
Here it is. He to really itch is. that scratch. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. He couldn't have said it any better, I don't think at all. He's really limited. When I say action figure wrestling organization, sorry about that, Jim. That was a bit, that was a that was a deep dig right there. Just like that holes book we read back. You call, in the day. You call them how you see them, Chip. Yeah. You call them how you see them, and I can't I cannot take that away from you. Absolutely. I right went down try. the middle. Right down the middle. I, you know, I you know you're my brother. I, I I love you more than my own blood relatives. I I say it sincerely. When I say action figure wrestling organization, I mean absolutely any action figure across pop culture. Now, I know as well as you do that throughout time, there have been many incredible action figures. Toys that we loved near and dear from uh, being very young. I, I remember being knee high to a grasshopper and really sinking deep into the toy aisle of all my favorite department stores. And what about the Mecca? Toys R Us. Jib, you got any good Toys R Us memories for me? Walking through Toys R Us, seeing shelf after shelf of the figures and the play sets and the worlds and the ideas and every little beautiful piece of it. I just, I could close my eyes and I could be there. Take me there, Jim. Take oh, me there. Take me there right now. now. Go there. I need it. The wall of oh. video games. <sighs> Toys R Us. I'm transporting. I'm transporting back in time. It's happening right now. And you are you going to join it. us on that ride. Jump in. We, <laughs> He-Man, Masters of the Universe. But that's just a, one example. That's a toy story. Here's another one. Star Wars. You ever heard of it? Star Wars. Batman. Batman. And what about the obscure ones? Huh? What about the food fight figures? <laughs> Remember those guys? It was a dude like a donut. Uh, I think it was a donut. There were many different foods that were fighting. And they were very violent. And I loved them very much. So much. Yeah. Captain Balls. Planet. Captain Planet. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Bucky O'Hare. That's it. Exactly. Took the words right out of my mouth. Just my, 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 my little pony. My little pony. My little pony, my guy. Stupid idea. But damn it, Jerry, I like the fact you're contributing. Absolutely. Give it up for Jerry. He's no. our production assistant who does a wonderful job all of the time. Uh, Has never dropped the ball once, Jim. Uh, no, no. Never, never gotten drunk on a camera and just fell asleep and the zoom is just just going in and it's it's like what's happening? What what are we looking? What are we watching, Jerry? What are we watching? Not mediocre at all. Never once has disappointed anyone, especially Hell his own no. mother. Jerry's we're being wow. we're getting really far off task here. We need to get back to the matter at hand. The Wrestling Entertainment Network. Oh, Robin Rob says KB Toys for the elders. Oh, KB Toys? I I can see it right now. I'm walking into the mall of my child. Can you see the display? Uh, can you see the display outside? It's, it's outside. There's a little corral for those little electronic dogs that don't really yes. jump, but they're kind That's of jumping. Do. And there's a ball, and it's got lights, and it's just it's it's flashing and everything. And my imagination has never been more stimulated. And I'm walking in. I'm walking in, and I veer to the right because I know that that's where the wrestling action figures are. You see. Something you need to know about Chip Baker is that he is a die-hard, lifelong professional wrestling fan. And that is why I gravitate towards the mission statement of when professional wrestling matches with action figures across every genre. The possibilities are absolutely eternal. Endless. Infinity. That's why you can never miss a single episode of the Wrestling Entertainment Network. And I think it's, it's about time we start to talk a little bit more about the details. But... That's just a little tease. Let's not get too far into that. Right. Without paying credit where credit is due. Folks, we would like to introduce to you... No other way. The one, the only, the CEO, owner-operator, smooth operator, if I might add. Ooh, you got that right. Mr. Robert Tittlemeyer. Wherever you are, you better be clapping right That's now. Right. Standing up. Standing up. Standing up. ovation. Get up. Keep it in train, Jerry. You're already standing. Sit down. Be possible. Reverse it. Oh, sorry. Watch the camera. Mr. Tittlemeyer, what an honor it is to have you here on our live stream Q&A. We, we can't wait for that first episode to drop. And we know that you're just as excited as we are. But I gotta ask, what possesses such a genius, visionary entrepreneur such as yourself to start an action figure wrestling organization, especially one so unique as when. Well, boys, let me tell you. There is nothing that the Tittlemeyers know how to do other 
then just leap forward into business. And when I got the idea, and my sister Helen got the idea, for a wrestling figure action fighting league, we jumped right in. And then we brought in these two wonderful boys, all part of the Tittlemeyer Industry Titans plan to come up and bring you the greatest entertainment that you've ever seen. And boys, I want to apologize too for the YouTubes this evening. I got Zuckerberg, or whatever that means. Oh, oh, that is not, that's not a good start to things, and when, but it's no matter. We'll put it aside and we will move forward quicker than a, a jackrabbit's ejaculate, I swear. I, I, I just, I cannot say how genius I think you are, Mr. Tittlemeyer. I, I, can I hug you? I wouldn't Boy, do it. Probably not a good idea. I wouldn't okay, do I'm, it, man. I'm not, I'm not gonna hug you. Yeah, that's okay, that's okay. I think I'm Jim. I'm Jim. I, I just can't thank you. Listen, Rib, thank you. Thank you for that. I appreciate it, Rib. But however, Chris, but back to you. I want to hear more from you, Chris. I think that it's worth addressing that the Wrestling Entertainment Network plans on exclusively releasing full-length episodes to our YouTube channel. So, having a little bit of contention there is going to be an issue. Do you think that's going to be an issue? Uh, no. Yeah. Okay. We are going to bring okay. the greatest sure. entertainment that you've ever seen. On this planet, to the YouTubes. That's right, the YouTubes. The oh, YouTubes. Uh, so we have a question. Yes, uh, uh, Sarah Nicole Parker said, "Woohoo! Hug him, please." Let me check. You're gonna want to burn that jacket, Mr. Zinnemeyer. Our YouTube channel is the only place to find when action. The only place, and I think it's time that we start to get into those details. Let's slip into something a little more comfortable, which is information. And okay, that is... Because I, I didn't bring anything. I thought... Okay. I, 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 this is all I got. To expect anything from you is just to, the rest of to the disappoint myself. And I'm tired of doing that. The rest of the clothes are in the back of my car, so like... Okay. That's... Don't know what that means. Sorry. When will come to you live pre-recorded every other Saturday morning at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I repeat, Saturday mornings, you remember them well, don't you? Bring that breakfast cereal, boys. Absolutely. Let me tell you, pajama bottoms and breakfast cereals. No tops needed, only bottoms. What is the best cereal combo that you have dove into on a Saturday morning cartoon binge? Go right now. Saturday morning cartoon binge for me, Mr. Tittlemeyer, that would be the Corn Flakes and Jack Daniels bourbon. All right, all right. Breakfast of champions, obviously, also royalty, the crown. That's a real, genuine article. He has, what is the process? I, I'm not entirely sure. Jim, cereal combination for the Saturday morning tunes, what's up? Peanut butter crunch until my mouth is bleeding. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. It tastes so good. But it hurts it. so bad. Oh. I mean, why does it burn, why does it just rip the top of your mouth apart? I don't know. I, maybe it's the flavor. It's just that flavor. I think it they wants just... to get into those holes so it can really just sink into the bloodstream and blow your fucking mind, apparently. I think oh, they designed I, it. I don't know if we can swear here. Uh, what's what's sure. the Facebook policy? What, I'm sorry, Mr. Tillman. That's all right, all right boys. Let it fly. This is live, so oh. it's okay. <laughs> I might unbutton the top button here. That's all Because right. I am sweating so much. The lights are very bright. They are very bright. Saturday morning cartoons. I'm sitting down with a nice half and half, an Arnie Palmy. Half Cocoa Pebbles, half Fruity. That's right, Chip gets down weird. You'll see. I'm sitting down with a nice, delicious, chilled... Shut, shut up, Jerry. Sorry. Jerry, Jerry, pick that up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Mr. Bobby. Put it back down again. Okay. Jerry, bring out my limo. Get it ready. Oh, nice, okay. smooth, cold glass of almond milk because of the lactose intolerance and diarrhea. I'm I like your style. I'm I like everything about down. it. And I'm watching so maybe some some WWF syndicated shows. Maybe I'm watching some street sharks having a totally jawsome morning. Know what I'm saying? Come on. But oh, your oh, new addiction, oh. ladies and gentlemen, children, boys and girls, is when That's... Saturday mornings bi weekly. We are gonna bring Saturday mornings back. That's right. And it starts next Saturday. You're goddamn hey, right. You just we gave it away. It at time. That's right. We had to drop it. We've got all of these wonderful entertainment fans here on the Facebook live stream, and they deserve to know. The Wrestling Entertainment Network 
comes to you. I'm so excited, I'm stumbling over my words like I've lost my ankles every other Saturday, and it starts next Saturday, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. May 8th. May 8th. He knows the date. I know Can you the believe date. it? It is going to be a real gas. That's right, like you're fighting back the farts. Call me Gaseous Clay. This is groundbreaking. This is a milestone in free internet entertainment. We are going to great lengths. No expense um, spared. Jerry, you got a question? Yeah, yes, uh, Neil wants to know, do you have any uh, suggestions for what we should do on the other Saturdays? Excellent question, Neil. We really appreciate you chiming in, watching the Facebook live stream, and I think that we can deliver a perfect answer. You watch the old episode of When You Get Deep Into There and find those little nuances, the minutia, as they like to say. The little Easter eggs that we see sprinkled in there because this is a top-notch production. I was fortunate enough to see a screener. That's right, it's in the can. We like to be prepared here at the Wrestling Entertainment Network. And I gotta tell ya, there's some weird stuff in there. Ooh, it is gonna be wild. This is gonna be bomb. weird. It's gonna explode all over your faces. A nice big nostalgia rocket. And we paid. We managed to scrap up enough money for 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 one firebomb. We got we got one firework out there. Yeah. You know, no expense spared to bring you the greatest entertainment this side. We even got a guest ring announcer. We do. We. I don't know if we want to give it away, but we, we sprang for it. it. It was an added expense. We really, you know, we like to make sure that we're running a tight ship. We want to have a nice long run here at WEN. We want to have staying power in the market because you can't blow your load in one shot. We all know that. That's business 101. You don't just spend all your money out the gate, even though it's really easy when it comes to action figures. But... That's why you always have money coming in, boys. Multiple fingers and multiple pies. I love... Pies. Or in Helen's case, a hook in the pies. <laughs> oh, your sister is a wonderful woman. Now, I want to talk a little bit about where Wen is going to emanate from. The Grapple Palace. The handmade home of the Wrestling Entertainment Network, the Grapple Palace. It is a one-of-a-kind, state-of-the-art arena that is going to house all of this entertainment. Mr. Tittlemeyer, what went into building the Grapple Palace? What sort of contract? What kind of research did you do? Did you look at classic wrestling arenas? Did you look at bingo halls, VFWs? Because that's where these things typically take place if you're not on the big time. And we're not there, not just yet. Chan, that is correct. We spend no expense coming in and bringing you a state-of-the-art wrestling facility. Let me tell you, I went on to the MySpace marketplace and found the cheapest but nicest. So nice. So nice. So nice. I love it. Absolutely. It's, it's a nice, it has a black box theater feel. I feel like I'm, I'm witnessing something underground, something new, something edgy. You know, it's like Kurt Cobain, except not with the sad ending. I'm just feeling in the moment, and it's old, but it's new at the same time. And it's cozy, it's and it's inviting, and, and it's a place that you want to be. Absolutely. There is no other place to be. Really and the just wrestling no flip-flops allowed, hard-soled shoes only. That's right, the concrete floors get scuffed and we don't like that because we like to rent it out for a multi-purpose event space. It's, it's, it's really good to diversify and that's, it, that's a little nugget of wisdom. See, we're providing premium content as well. It's not just all about action figure wrestling, which is the bread and butter of the organization, but it's also about the sugar on top. Yeah, that's correct. It's sugar on top. Oh, we see my seat, bro. But we are gonna... Oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh, it's going down, brothers! Are you all right, shit? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I'm a little... I'm a little... I'm a little shook up. I'm all shook up. You were like just with energy, boys. You were ready. You are springing out of it. It's... It's... it's we had so many slams and punches and kicks to bring to you. That's right. We're gonna have some grappling in the Grapple Palace as well. We're gonna have those technical wrestling matches. We'll have those ha-ha comedy matches that the Smart Marks really love. And we will have main event caliber talent across the board. You will never want to miss an episode, I tell you. So subscribe today to the WEN YouTube channel. Subscribe right now. I don't mind if you leave the live stream to go do a sub on there, because last I knew we were one away from 50. One and away! That's, that's a big stuff! That's one away! It is correct, and that 50th subscriber, let me tell you what they're in store for. 
So right now, all of you watching live have a chance to go on that YouTube page to be that 50th subscriber to get a personal shout out from the one, the only, Mr. Robert Tittlemeyer. Oh, that is a $175 value on Cameo and OnlyFans. But he's gonna give it to you if you go sub right now, take a screenshot and send it our way. We will get that to you post haste. And it will be probably the best day of your life. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, fellas, it's gonna make you laugh. Is it? It's gonna make you feel good. It's gonna make you want more. That's and that's what we plan to do. We are gonna bring you more. We're not stopping. We just built this train. And we are going to drive it off the track into the middle of nowhere. That's, no, okay. But we, we don't stop there. That's good. We're we not. just keep going into the middle of nowhere. And, we'll, and then we take off into space. What if? And then the train is, is driving through space. Okay. And then we end up in like a silent movie. Okay? So we're in a silent movie. And, and the train is just going to keep going until, we're, until it's in a modern movie. And then it's going to come back on another planet. And, and that's what the Wrestling Entertainment Network is going to do. Okay. I'm getting contact high from that hug, I think. Hi. <laughs> yeah, you smell that too, huh? I think it's is like... Is that what that is, boys? It's turpentine. Well, boys, it has been a pleasure. But as you know, I'm a very busy, busy man. And i got to go run on another tin of my industry titans products. Any last questions for me? Is the limo running, Jerry? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Car is running. Mr. Tittlemeyer in a bed has been our pleasure. All our pleasure, probably none of yours, because you do not like to associate with pores, such as ourselves. Which, not at all, I enjoy you very much, Chris. Okay, we can talk about that race later, right? Let's Absolutely. All right. And, and me too, you like me too, right? He does. Tune Mr. in on Saturdays, folks. Mr. Robert Tittlemeyer, CEO of WEN. Let's give him a standing O to get to, to, to him out. It's the only, it's the only way you can leave. I can't imagine. Anything else? Nothing else. Our heads are probably cut off right now. That's fine. That's fine. Chest high. Totally cool. Totally cool. Right, 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 right this way, Mr. Tell. Can I wear your hat, by the way? They give you a check yet? No. Okay. Well, no it's like okay. the first week. He said, he said he would get it. He's going to have it. We've been working for him for a little while. I know, but he said he was good for the check. Hey, maybe he's waiting for the first show. He wants, he wants to get uh, on the first show. We, we, we reached 50. Uh, Neil said 50. Subscribers. We did it! 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 And you Woo! shall receive! This is a glorious moment in the history of when I need to take a second to bask in its glow. Hold on! We did it! Oh, it's so good. Jim, it feels so damn good. Thank you to our adoring Wentertainment fans for taking us over the mile marker of 50 subscribers on the YouTube channel. And that is just the beginning of your experience, if you will. Get ready to immerse yourself in the Wrestling Entertainment Network. I think it's about time that we give them that snapshot of what's to come. All right. We're going to announce officially the first match. This is it. This, this is, is the moment. History. Can you feel it? The electricity in the air, it is coursing. It's like that movie Powder with the albino fellow who can manipulate energy. Have you ever seen it? I've never seen that. It's movie. fucking terrifying. Hate it. The very first match in Wang history. Is that is that a, a motorcycle sound? I thought it's like a what did they call that? Like a they called it a hit roll. It's a hit roll. Yeah, it's like a, more like a, a jet ski of sorts. No, like it's it's like it's not working, it's functioning a, properly. It's it's like trying to get up to speed and it's waterlogged from the season before. It's, it's, people do that to like, when a big moment is coming. And it's like, I've never heard of that. That's not a thing. Nobody does that. The very first match in win history, Wreck-It Ralph. That's right, Wreck-It Ralph. Do you, can you picture his big old fists? If, if you were on Instagram Spicy. earlier, you saw, you saw a picture of him. He was training. He was I was able there. to catch up with Wreck-It Ralph while he was in the ring doing some exercises, getting ready to take part in some upcoming action, and he told me that he is ready to make his name. He is ready to break out of movies and get into professional wrestling on the win scale, and it is, I, I couldn't think of a better opponent. He's huge! This is, he's huge! He's huge! And Those he's, arms! His opponent is going to be the one and only villainous, dastardly 
Two-Face from the Batman series. Can you believe it? God damn it! Wreck-It Ralph vs. Two-Face, the very first match in WEN history, exclusively revealed here on the Facebook Live Q&A. You are so fortunate, I know you're going to put that in your prayers later, because that is something that... I mean, you can't beat it, Jim. You, you What's can't... the market value on that? $10 million? That experience? You had to put a dollar on it? At least. At least. $10 million. Like, oh, yeah. like three Bitcoin. Because I think they're worth like... A lot. They're worth a lot. Not as much as Doge, which we're rolling in right now. That's what Mr. Tittlemeyer says. That is going to be such a matchup, and I can't wait for it. Two-Face, you know, he's going to be really... I can already tell he's going to be a dirty player. Dirty player. You think so? Absolutely. Look, I want to be a bastard. bastard. I know, but like... Because that's what people expect. I want to see him. I want to see him play fair. You know, I, I don't want to see the tricks. I want to see some good, classic fighting out of Two Face. Because his opponent, Wreck-It Ralph, is huge. We watched him in training, and you know, he, he's got he's got a lot to overcome. I just want to see him do it the fair way. I think that I really hope you have a pocket full of miracles. Because my friend, you have high hopes, and that's the only thing that's going to bring you there. I also bet on. So. You really should. Okay, we'll talk about that later. We need to get to something very important. We had Mr. Tittlemeyer, the CEO of WEN. What a man. I mean, can you get a better guess what than that? What a man, what a man, what a man. Yep. What a mighty fine man. Was I want to get his man. Was that TLC? I think so. I think so, man. You can't beat that. That's the top guess. We, are, we, we already put, we front loaded the live stream. We brought in the creme of creme, which is a fancy way to say the best. I could because I had no idea what it's that It's Spanish. You can right there. I got, a road, I got the, the muzzy. Say it again? A creme de la creme. Are you okay? I, I, I had a little dairy earlier. That's what it is. That's, that's, that's what it is. Our next guest, our surprise guest, is going to be making some waves in WEN. Much like that wave at that indoor water park that we went to, Chip. That was a ton of fun. The water tasted like copper, but I had a blast. This man is going to stake his claim. He is going to make his name. He plans on making a real impact. We, we've talked to him a couple times, and I'm loving his vibe. I'm, I'm really. I, I am. I think, I think you have good taste, my friend. This man is a wrestling icon, a wrestling legend. If you ever even watched wrestling remotely and you don't know his name, then you probably don't retain information well. And Which shame. It's, that's shame on Okay, me. I wasn't shaming anyone. That's not okay. No. Let's bring him in. The one, the only, professional wrestling's own, Mr. Tony Riggle. Woo! Yes, keep clapping. You can clap as long as you can. Oh, oh right. here he is. No, I'm not going to stand. Better be clapping. Yeah, no, 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 no. You can be yeah, I'm not going to stand. I'll clap. I'll clap. Be with you guys. This is fun. That's fun, right? We're yeah. clapping, everybody. That feels Mr. good. Mr. Tony Riggle. <sighs> Tony Mr. Riggle. Hey, Jim, Mr. Jim, it's a pleasure. A pleasure. Chip, yes. I've heard a lot about you. I've heard people talk <laughs> about you once, one time. I heard someone say, Tony Riggle. Ah, another man of good fellow taste. I do appreciate that, sir. Thank you. It was me. I said it earlier. I told you that. The guest on the show is going to be Tony Riggle. Ah. <clears throat> that was the reference he's talking about. But I am very familiar with your prolific career. Hmm. They're always much bigger in person. I know. I'm it's like, crazy. I know. It's crazy. Tony Riggle, you are a wrestling legend. You've been at it since the 70s when you broke in. To the Midwest Territory. You made your way all about the country as a journeyman. You took on the toughest opponents. I'm familiar with your career, but you can you divulge some of those stories? Can you let some loose from those pretty little lips for uh, our wind I'm, entertainment? I'm audience? excited. I'm excited to hear it. Let's 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 pull let's up hear. a chair. Let's pull up Give me a just chair. just a little a little synopsis. Give me your highlights. Red chairs. I was born and raised in Queens. See. And, and I'm a fine believer that if you're born from Queens, you fight like a king, okay? That's, that's just something my grandmother always told me. Um, you know, uh, I spent many a night eating nothing but raw cavatelli and fried duck. And let me tell you, it made me a stronger fighter today. Why? Grandma told me, so I just kind of believed her. Um, uh, her name was Sally Giuseppe Ravioli. But anyways, she was a great woman and I really appreciated her. Um, uh, from there, she was the one who got me my start in the Wrestling Entertainment Network. Um, 
you know, she was the one who pushed me out the door quite literally. She wanted nothing to do with me at like age 14. So I started fighting in, in circles and rings anywhere I could all throughout the Bronx. Um, uh, but, then, but then I started wrestling and I had my first major break, March 22nd, 1985. The Riggle versus Timmy Tony. I remember that. And you see, I'm only familiar with your career through the magazines because in those days we didn't have the luxury of Al Gore's internet to be able to see wrestling at a moment's notice. We had to keep up with the wrestling on in each little territory through the magazines, through the tape trading. And that's the only way I ever saw you, Tony Riggle. But this bout Jim, are you familiar? I, I I don't. I feel like I kind of almost do remember this. I, I don't. I think once he starts to tell the story, you'll understand a little more. Give it to us, Mr. Riggs. Picture this: March twenty second, nineteen eighty five. It's hot. God, it was hot. But so many people there to witness me, witness me in all my hairy glory. I walk up onto the stage. Timmy Tony is already there, doing his typical thing, brushing his teeth before every match. Timmy Tony was was a genius fighter. Um, I got to see him back in the day. Yeah, the whitest teeth this side of the Mississippi, am I right? Truly he, he was truly just a work of art. Oh. I mean, just oh. a work Sh of art. Chisel from granite. Oh. <sighs> yes, yes uh, so, uh, I uh, remember all, like, uh, okay. Uh, so, I was just waiting to continue on. Uh, yeah. I'm well, very sorry, we don't mean to step on your lines. It's, it's, it's only once, you know, only once. But anyway, so we were we uh, we grappled together. We were fighting for about twenty minutes. Everybody knew about his uh, kung fu nut punch, uh, his signature move. Constantly used it on everybody. Uh, used it on me one too many times that night. Uh, I uh, flew into a fit of rage, a real rage. And uh, next thing I know, I I just saw a bunch of blood, and I had bitten off four of his toes. Wow. <laughs> it was an amazing experience. I mean, oh, he would you not say, stop yelling. What? That was you? Yeah. That man was a legend. Yeah, he was, and I bit his toes off. You disfigured him. It ruined his career. He went into depression. He drank. Nah, he still did stuff. He did the guy. That, the he was it. He was just like a, like a shell of a human being but, after that. But, nah, he was fine. I was paying him. He's being paid. You know, he's getting money for it. It's it, fine. It, I mean, he's worth his weight in toes. He saved a fortune on leather boots without those toes, Jim. Come on, you gotta look at the silver linings playbook of these situations. Uh, no, uh, that, is a, that is a cheap trick. <laughs> you should recognize me. I am Tony Riggle. I, did I do recognize you now. I do remember you now. Wow. That is, that is some bullshit. Oh, oh, all right, You, all you right. bite off another man's yeah. toe? What? Why do we have him on here? No, actually, hold on. No, it was four toes. It wasn't just toe. It was, it was toe. Yeah, it was a lot. It, it, you disfigured the man. No, he seems to be fine. No, he's not fine. He's got eight toes. I'm sending him $75 a week. What more can you ask for? He screws them on with drywall screws. He okay. lost the toes in 1985. It's been a long time. It's true. I'm pretty sure he it's doesn't true. feel them. Or he does feel them, and they're not there. Ever heard of Phantom Limbs? He can pretend they're there. He's fine. That's, I've he, only seen him trip twice. He, he makes a good point. We just, no, he doesn't, gotta, he doesn't gotta, make a good we point. Gotta get, we got to get past this, because this is like, it's really, you're really fucking up the stream. Like, listen, gotta, listen, we got to get over this, because you guys are getting really tense. Nah, 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 nah. You know? My butt is like super tight right now. Like, because you guys are going at it and scaring the shit out. I'm sorry, Chip. You know what? Well, I'm gonna let bygones be bygones right now. Yes, yeah. right. Tony Riggle, wrestling legend. With the respect. Took a he, the the reason they call him Timmy Tolis Tony. Yeah, Tolis Tony. We should have talked about this before we did. Like, I I, I should have known this we, information. Yeah, well, we should have done a lot more work before this because it probably would have went better. But it I probably also would, would have gone a lot better. What a, I never knew it. that somebody could get so upset about toes. Yeah, that's. Oh my God, he's still a person. He still orders coffee. He orders a venti coffee. You know, he still does he's the fine. same things he did before. He just walks a little like. Like, like a skunk. That's all. Just like one so, like you know, I, I just don't like to see any any cheap fighting. You know, like that that enrages me. You know, I'd like to see some fair fighting. You want to talk in rage and square. You want to talk in rage. You want to talk in rage. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. All right. All right. We got to get back to the matter. We got to get back to the wrestling entertainment network. 
Make sure you subscribe, you like, you turn on the notifications across all social media because you are going to see the likes of Mr. Tony Riggle a whole lot more. Something tells me he is ready to climb to the top of the mountain, so to speak, which is going to be kind of difficult because there are no human wrestlers allowed in when. It's time to talk about so it. So, Mr. Riggle, mm. what, I, I, I don't want you to give away too much. Okay. I think it is fair to say that you've got some tricks up your sleeve like a shitty magician. I want to know, what are you after? What's the long-term goal of someone who's already done it all? The industry is in decline. There ain't a lot of things going on now. Not a lot of action, not a lot of excitement. I'm sorry, we're we're listening. do you have something no, we're to listening. say? We're listening with bated breath. With bated, bated breath. Yes. Okay. Bated breath? Masterfully. Okay. Anyways, I see a lot of great figure fighters here. I think they have something to offer. Me, and I want to be able to help them achieve greatness to make me great. I don't know. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I am picking up what you're putting down, smelling what you're stepping in, Mr. Riggle. Mm -hmm. Say no more, but tell me more later off camera. Yes, sir. Mr. Tony Riggle. Very first matchup mm -hmm. in win history. Wreck it, Ralph versus Two Face. Mm. Give me your short term, short impression. What do you think? Who's coming out on top? Who's coming out on top? Yeah. Whoever cries the hottest. That's fair. Well, it's usually me. That's, That's what my fair. grandmother always told me. But in my personal opinion, there's something to be said about duplicity in one character. I have my eyes watched very closely on Two Face. I think that Wreck It Ralph doesn't know what's coming for him. Ooh, ooh. I hate to agree with you there. Well, don't. You don't have to. No, no, you don't, have, you don't, don't have, have to hate it. Yeah. You know what? You don't have to agree with it. I can go to the hospital and find some toes. Then I send the toes Just, to you, and then maybe oh, you'll okay. show then, All right, Mr. Tony Riggle, we, uh, the, the, this here's, well, doesn't say anything about this, but this is very uncomfortable for me, so we should probably just wrap this up. We look forward to seeing you here and when. Thank, Thank you. you so much for joining us on our Facebook live stream, not our YouTube live stream. Worth mentioning, we were Zuckerberg. So, we will see you at the races. You, you'll see me whenever I decide to come. Oh, oh, all right. That's Which will we be often, but because I want to. Yes, so. Okay, all right. But it doesn't need to be rude. Mr. Tony Rankin, everyone. See you later, champ. Oh, bye, buddy. Pleasure. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I get it. Dude. I was really I'm good. Super. I was really. He, he was a legend. I know. He was I, one of my heroes. I I saw him face off against Haystacks Calhoun. That yeah. He picture that in your head. Those you overalls. I was there. He sold those overalls. They made it into a, a sale for a ship. It was really cool. Folks, we have been delighted to spend this time with you, to give you the information you've been dying to know about the Wrestling Entertainment Network, make sure you like and subscribe across all social media platforms. You found our YouTube, uh, obviously our Facebook page. Hopefully you've gone to the YouTube channel, hit subscribe, hit that little bell, ring our bell. Should, should we set a goal for, for subscriptions before the first episode? Should we set a new goal? Uh, I think we should set a new goal, and I think that we should raise the stakes a little bit. Ooh, yeah. I like the way you're yeah, talking. Yeah, like, like putting raw meat on the top shelf. You shouldn't do that. I like the way. This is what I'm proposing. Let me know how it hits the cochlea of your ear. Huh? Woo! That's a good word. If we hit 75 or 100. All right. Pick one. It's a good, uh, pick one. 75. Wait, 75. 75. 75. I don't he remember. is a giving 75. spirit, folks. He is a is such a philanthropist, if you will. He's willing to give it away at 75. He doesn't even know what the stakes are yet. He doesn't even know what I'm asking of him. And he's ready to give you the action that you crave deeply within your heart. Here's what I'm suggesting. God, it's intense. Okay. I was trying to match the energy you guys were putting. You nailed it. With that. If we hit 75 subscribers by, do we want to put a timetable on it? Sat Saturday. By next week? Yeah, by next week. If we hit 75 subscribers by next Saturday, before the debut episode of when, I'm saying it, I'm declaring it. You can't I'll, take it back. I'll stand so you know I'm serious. Ooh. I'll sit back down. I, I was yeah, advised okay. to sit back down. Okay. 
if we hit 75 subscribers, we will release an exclusive match on Facebook. What? Did he say it out loud? I think he did. Get out of here. Why would we Get release, out of here. Why would we release it on Facebook if we were, we're like on the YouTube? Because right? we, want, we want everyone to know. We're pushing the YouTube, but we're saying, hey, we'll release it on Facebook. We know you're on both. It's 2021, for Christ's sakes. We know you're operating you, you both. You got both apps. You got both apps, and you can download both. If you're afraid, I mean, you could just say it. Are you, are you afraid of being entertained to death? I think they're afraid. I think they're so afraid. They have fear in their hearts feel because they are worried that they can't handle all the entertainment, all of the action that we have coming your way from the Wrestling Entertainment Network. 75 subscribers before the debut of when next Saturday morning, 9.30 a.m., we will release an exclusive match on Facebook and YouTube. It sounds, it. it sounds too good to be true. Fuck it, we'll put it on both. It sounds too good to be true. I made it gooder. We'll put it on both. I love it. I win. I'm going to be honest with you. NSFW, 6 to midnight when I said that. Brother, crazy. If you're in, then you're in. <laughs> oh, you know where, and you definitely know when. when. <laughs>